Today I'm going to show you how to do an interaction that involves overlaid content using Flinto. This time we'll use the Behavior Designer, which allows you to do it all within one screen. I previously did a video that shows a similar technique using a transition between two screens. I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one. In a previous video, I showed you how to simulate overlaid content using a transition. The way we did it was to create two similar looking screens where the only difference is this menu that appears, and it overlays the rest of the content. Creating a simple transition between the two gives an effect of this menu overlaying the rest of the content, but one drawback is that all the background content is repeated across two screens. So I'll show you a way to avoid that using the behavior designer. Instead of the two screens, I'll use just one screen, the one with the menu, and I'll hide the menu by fading it out because that's how I'd like it to appear initially. Next, I'll select the button that activates the menu and the menu itself and click Behavior in the toolbar. In the Behavior Designer, I'll create a new state and fade the menu back in. Now I'll create a way to navigate between these states. I'd like a link over the button that targets the new state and a link on that state which goes back to the initial state. Now I can test this on my device. Cool, that's how you can create overlaid content all within one screen using the behavior designer. So you may wonder, how do you decide when to use a behavior or a transition? Well, I think a good general rule is if you're transitioning from something that looks like one view of your app to an entirely new view, then use a transition. But if the overlaid content appears as like a temporary small element of an existing view, then use a behavior. So in my example here, the menu that pops up is definitely not its own view of my app. It's just a sort of a element of this view. So a behavior is appropriate. But let's look at an example where the entire view of the app changes, but it's still overlaid over the previous screen. This content is overlaying the previous screen, but this certainly would be described as an entirely new view of the app. And there might be interactions and animations within this screen. So in this case, I think it totally makes sense to have this be its own screen within Flinto and to create the overlay effect using a transition. 